everyone, it's Laurieann Sheldrick, the Contagiously Positive Girl. So today I'm, I'm in my kitchen, the Contagiously Positive Kitchen, and I wanted to show you just quickly how to make a really awesome homemade vegetable stock. So the whole reason I wanted to do this today was because a lot of the stocks that you buy in the grocery store are full of preservatives, full of chemicals, and full of additives that really take away from your health goals. And then the ones that are great and don't have any of those additives and chemicals and preservatives um, are often full of sodium, but they are incredibly expensive. So this is a really great way to inexpensively make your homemade healthy vegetable stock, which is immune boosting, it's good for your guts, you can put it in your soups and your stews, you can even just drink a cup of it when you're not feeling quite well. So this is how it's done. All right, so I've already prepped everything for you here. So we have herbs, we have spices, we have vegetables. You can add any of your own vegetables. A lot of them, this is just what I happen to have in the fridge. So I throw it all together and it's easy peasy. So I have a really large pot. That's key because you're gonna use about 12 to 14 cups of water, which is a lot. So first of all, um, I have a bunch of broccoli stems. Every single time I do this, I always add a green. I really want the nutrients from those very healthy dark greens. Sometimes it's kale, sometimes it's spinach, but because um, Saturday night I made a stir fry, I kept all of the stocks so that I could add it into my homemade broth. So you're just gonna throw them all in. So number one, no waste. This is huge, right? Plus you're getting all the healthy nutrients that are in those greens without having to use the good parts of the broccoli that you're going to eat. Then I have a plate full of other goodies. So usually what I do is I put in one small onion. You don't even really have to peel it, just cut it into quarters. I had a red onion left over, a large one, so I'm going to use half of it. Ah! We'll throw that in the pot. Then I have a bunch of celery. The celery was starting to get old, so this is really great. Again, you're not throwing it out, you're just throwing it in. You're going to boil it down anyway, so it's perfect. So a bunch of celery into the pot. That was about four, four or five celery stalks. Carrots, I love carrots and I love the nice little golden color that it makes this stock. So I've used five medium sized carrots. I've just cut them into big little chunks, throw it in the pot. Oh, I have the celery, the nub of the celery left. Don't throw that out, throw it in your stock. Then garlic, nature's natural antibiotic. We have here today five cloves of garlic. You can use an entire head if you want, it doesn't matter. And honestly, by the time it boils down, you won't taste that strong garlic flavor. So don't worry about, am I going to have bad breath? You will not. So what I did is I just squashed them down to release some of the oils. Throw that in the pot. Then I have about a large two to three inch piece of ginger. So fresh ginger root. So I've just, I haven't even peeled it, I've just cut it into little quarters and I'm going to throw that into the pot. This is really good for your digestion and it adds nice flavor. So the key here, fresh herbs. So now we're going to get into some really more healthy greens but also incredible flavor. You can use dried but you're not going to get that same flavor. I always add oregano really really good for your immune system and I just kind of loosen it up in the pot and then today I'm using thyme so a whole bunch of thyme so we add all that in now we have just a few dried spices I like to add just a touch of heat trust me you don't even notice that it's there it just gives it a nice little kick and it's actually a better addition to adding something like salt which you don't want to add a lot of salt a pinch of dried chili flakes just add those in because I like it a little hotter. I'm going to double it. Now I have a couple bay leaves. Sometimes what I do, if they're small, I just add a few bay leaves. So there I just added about five small bay leaves. If they're really large or they're fresh, keep it to two. The biggest ingredient, like the one that you just don't want to miss out on, is the turmeric. One, it makes it the most amazing color. Two, it adds such a nice flavor. And three, 
Turmeric is so good for immune system. It's good as an anti-inflammatory. It's good for your digestion. And don't be stingy with the turmeric. This is a tablespoon, just a kitchen tablespoon. It is heaping and I am going to add two of these and it's just ground turmeric and we're going to add that in. Now, peppercorns. So I have my peppercorn cracker here. I usually add about 12 peppercorns into the mix. You can crack it, but the thing is, it's really hard when you strain it because the pepper is left over. I just want the flavor. I don't want left all that, all the grinding, uh, all the flakes. So then I add a couple liquids. I add just a couple tablespoons of olive oil. Really, really good for a healthy fat. You can also add coconut oil. And then what I love, and oh my, this is one of my husband's favorites, is apple cider vinegar. I would say probably about a third of a cup. And again, don't measure, just play with it. If you want more, add more. So then, that's it. That is all I add in. You can add more, you can add mushrooms, you can add spinach, you can add kale, you can, the one thing I wouldn't recommend is adding beets because your stock will be super sweet and will be red. So then what you do, fill it with water, right to the top until it's covered. You're going to put it on the stove on high heat, bring it to a boil, lower it down to medium low so it has a gentle simmer for about an hour to 90 minutes. And then we're going to come back and we're going to strain it and I will show you what it looks like. So check out this amazingness. So as you can see, the turmeric has already, it's not even boiled yet, it's already made it a nice golden color. So you see everything in there. You don't even have to stir it. I just wanted to show you. This is what it looks like before it even gets boiled with everything in the pot. We have that nice celery, the onion, the carrots. Oh, everything is just so beautiful. And then the herbs. So we're just gonna bury those in. We're going to bring this to a boil as I mentioned, for about 90 minutes, and then you will see how amazing it looks. Okay, so now that the stock has had time to boil, I just left this on for an hour and 20 minutes. Um, you can tell once everything is really wilted down, it's time to bring it off. So, what you're going to need is a really large bowl and a strainer. Put the strainer in the bowl over the sink. If you are worried about this being incredibly hot, because I just, I literally just took it off the stove, wait for it to cool. But I am just going to get right into it because I'm putting this into mason jars and I want the mason jars to seal tightly. And the stock needs to be hot for that to happen. So just very carefully, just pour the stock out. And it's going to, Go into the bowl, and you can leave it over there. I'm getting a little sauna right now. You can leave it for a while and let everything drip. I just want to show you how easy this is. And there we go. Take it out, and you have a large bowl of stock. So check that out. Isn't that gorgeous? You have a nice, healthy, homemade stock. You can just drink it in a cup if you feel yourself coming down with a cold, if your digestion is giving you a hard time because there's tons of ginger and garlic and turmeric that will help your digestion. Gorgeous. So now what I'm gonna do while this is still steaming hot is I'm going to pour it into mason jars so that once I put the lids on, it'll get a really nice seal. So here we go. I poured it into mason jars very carefully from the bowl. I didn't strain it again because I want to keep all of that goodness. So there will be a little sediment at the bottom, but that's okay. Once you're making your soups or your stews, it's just really from the herbs and the spices. So it's totally cool and it will go away when you cook it again. So I got two really large ones and one small one out of it. I put them in the jars for them to seal and that is it. Homemade, healthy stock. This will keep, if it pops and seals the way it's supposed to, it will keep for months in the pantry or even longer if you just store it in the fridge. It's absolutely perfect. Unfortunately, I eat so much of it, um, mine never lasts that long. And that is today's Contagiously Positive Cooking.